Hey lovelies, welcome back to another video. And for today's video, I have yet another Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna show you guys what they have new this week. I got some new makeup, some things for the kitchen, you know, a little bit of everything, just like I usually do. And I just wanna put a little disclaimer, my skin is going through it this week. I've been slacking on my nighttime skincare routine and I can definitely tell and I've been breaking out a lot. So I do wanna say, this is what real makeup looks like. I have a lot of texture going on. I am so sorry if that bothers anybody, but I just want to make that aware that I know my skin is looking a little rough today, but I still wanted to put some makeup on and get this video up for you guys because this stuff has been sitting in my room for a minute and I really want to go through it and show you guys all the new stuff. So if you really do love Dollar Tree hauls or Dollar Tree shop with me's or anything like that, I do a lot of those on my channel, but I also do makeup, vlogs, lifestyle, all that good stuff. So if you are interested, make sure you hit subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this massive haul. Let's go ahead and go in with this first bag here. It has a little bit of everything in here, so I'm just going to pick some stuff out and we're going to talk about it. Ioni did come out with a new makeup collection and I basically bought almost the entire end cap. Ioni came out with new powdered highlighters and of course I had to get one because I love the Ioni highlighter that I've been using constantly. And of course I'm, I am wearing it today, but this one is a new one. This one's in the shade Golden Glow. Super excited. They also came out with some new eyeliners, so I got two liquid liners. I got the black liquid liner. They're supposed to be felt tip liners. And I also got a teal color. I thought this would be fun for like, like a nice little spring or summer look to use eventually, but I never tried their eyeliner, so I'm excited about this. I was super pumped about this because I've been seeing this on TikTok, but I only came out with liquid blushes. The liquid form of a blush is like one of my favorites to use and I love it. They only had like two shades, one super orange shade and then they had this one. This one's like a pinky kind of coral color. This one's an orange glow. This is what the liquid blush looks like. I'm super excited to try this because I love Ioni products and just the fact that they come out with liquid blushes. I'm so excited. I also got this ring light from their $5 section. It's just a small little desk one that comes with a little ring light, a little stand, and it has a little phone holder as well. So I thought, of course, I'm always trying out different kind of tripods for my videos. And I needed one that can be a little bit more useful as far as like when I'm doing TikToks or when I do a makeup video, I wanted something with a stronger ring light. So I did grab this one. It comes with a USB, just like they usually do. Um, it has different brightness settings, can hold different cell phones. It also comes with cool, natural and warm colors so I thought for five bucks I might as well just give it a try because I love to try different ones so I'll let you guys know if this one's pretty good I do work at Ulta still and we are required to be well not required but it's very highly recommended to come in with a clear bag as far as like actual bags because it's easier for bag checks they can see everything um, so I got this pink one in case I ever want to bring a couple more things I usually use my fanny pack in my lunchbox as my bag but just in case I need another clear one I did grab this one I thought it was easy about 25 it's just for work so and also it's in pink I of course always want to keep changing my background for you guys I'm still working on this beauty room I, it's just like going to be an endless battle right now but I'm always trying to change it up a little bit and right now we're going to the spring and summertime so I'm trying to change it up as far as like a holiday theme or like the kind of season that we're in so I want to grab some things with flowers and stuff this is a really cute little thing that I found I don't know I thought it'd be cute in the background it just says grateful on it really pretty flower dollar 25 I like the color so I just wanted to grab a couple more decor pieces I haven't vlogged in a long time but basically my kitchen is white and brown and I have a lot of like greenery like faux plants in my window so I love grabbing things that are faux plants and I found these cute magnets I got this one right here that's kind of like orangey yellow. I also got this little succulent right here. And then this one looks like a cactus. So I thought these were really cute just to put on my fridge. And my fridge is really boring and white and it's ugly. And I don't mind like the fridge because it works for me. But like I wanted to look cuter. So I thought putting these cute little magnets would probably work out better. I've been hearing a lot of great stuff about Be Pure hair products. So I want to try out their hair serum, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. So basically you just put a small amount into your hands and smooth it over your hair to tame frizz. And it could be used on dry or damaged hair or damaged, damp hair. Sorry. It's supposed to help damaged hair. But I want to try it out a little bit. I don't have any serum in my hair. I just have a little bit of texture spray. So I want to see if this works. It's a super cute little packaging. Just comes with a pump. But let me try some on my hand. That smells really good. It just comes in this kind of a texture, but that smells good. This is just kind of applying to my hands. I'm just gonna apply a little bit into my hair. I don't know if it did anything yet because I don't have a mirror in front of me, but I love the way that smells. It has like a fruity, clean kind of scent. I actually really like it. 
And then the last two things in this bag, I have this tech case. So this is just a little case where you can roll up your charger and put it in here. I always just have my charger just floating around in my car whenever we travel. So I thought maybe a nice little case will keep it a little bit more organized. And then I also got some snacks. I got these banana flavored um, walnuts. I thought this would be a really nice snack because I love banana. I love walnuts. So I'm like, I might as well give this a try. And there's a lot of sugar in this. It only has um, 9 grams and an extra 8 grams, so 16% of sugar in here for the one pack. Kind of a lot considering it's a big pack, but I'm like, this would be a nice little tasty treat. I think I'm going to try right now, actually. That is super sweet, but it's really good. It's just really sweet. These are actually really good really good tasty snack and if you like a sweet treat that want it kind of healthy this will definitely work they're really good and the walnuts they're not they're not hard at all and then down to the next bag i might have some walnuts still stuck in my teeth but i got some more snacks in here i got my favorite little snacks i am in love with these harvest snap peas they are a really really good snack really good for you lots of fiber i usually get the lightly salted ones but these are the white cheddar ones which I'm excited to try. I feel like it kind of tastes like popcorn maybe, but I love these. If you need a nice crunchy snack that's good for you, I love these. I also wanted to give these a try because I love kettle cooked chips and I especially love jalapeno ones. The jalapeno ones, I don't really get that often because it gives me really bad heartburn, but I'm like a little bag like this should be okay. But these are sweet and spicy jalapeno chips, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and they're kettle cooked. Um, not a lot of sugar, only 4% for the bag and gluten-free. Um, it has a lot of, I mean, it just sounds really good, and I wanted to give it a try. I usually get, I think it's the Lay's ones, the kettle cooked jalapenos, so I want to see if these are just as good. They also had a really cute section for new kitchen stuff, and I got this little sink caddy. It is so cute. This was $1.25, and it's pretty good material. You can put the little brush in here, your spongy, and it has a little hang thing for something else. I'll probably put, like, my straw cleaner in there or something, but if that was a really nice color. It looks kind of bougie, like the packaging kind of reminds me of something that I'd get from, like, Target. I also grabbed this from their plus section. This was $3. It's a bling car seat hooks. I thought this was so cute to hang like my purse or like bags or anything like that. It's just blingy and bougie and I like it. I wish it did come in like a pink kind of bling, but it's just a regular blingy color. And they had a lot of cute stuff like for your car. So I was like, I might as well get this and kind of make my car a little bit more girly. I got the cutest stuff from Be Pure. Like, let me show you guys what I got. This was really popular and I found it. It is the peach hand cream. It has shea butter and hyaluronic acid, but it comes in like that peach packaging. I've heard great things about their peach collection. This kind of reminds me of like Tony Moly. Tony Moly um, is like a skincare brand and they sell it at Ulta and they have a peach collection as well. But this, $1.25. So I thought it was so cute. I was also able to grab their peach sheet mask. Look at that. I love Be Pure masks. You guys already know. So I'm so excited about the peach collection. I also grabbed two of their under eye masks because they're really good. But these are the cherry ones. I think they also had a cherry collection. I just wasn't able to grab everything. But I did find these and I had to snatch them up real quick. And I found the Touchland dupes at my local Dollar Tree. I went back again this morning and they don't have them anymore, but I found them and I snatched them. I got the cucumber mint scented one and the watermelon one. Like how cute are these? In my personal opinion, I think Touchland is very overpriced for a hand sanitizer. I understand it's the packaging, I understand it's hydrating and stuff. I just feel like $10 is a lot for hand sanitizer. So $1.25 for similar packaging. I'm so pumped. Like, look how cute and they're slim. Like, I love them. Sorry if you guys hear my washer in the background. I hope you guys don't, but I have one of those old washing machines still and they make a lot of noise and they're very loud, but I have to wash blankets today. I do apologize if you hear my washer. It's really loud. I actually bought this stuff today. I just went in there to find something for work, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, I might as well just cruise around and see what they have new. And I ended up finding a couple things. I ended up purchasing a couple things from this brand, the Global Beauty Care, and they had a new collagen line. So I grabbed the Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream to try out, and the Collagen Facial Serum, and I also grabbed their Collagen Skin Cream. This is supposed to be basically collagen plumping, hydrating kind of product. So we'll have to put these to the test. I love that on the back, it tells you everything you need to know as well. It is fragrance-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, silicone-free, alcohol-free, not tested on animals for all skin types 
non-comedogenic and pH balanced. So for $1.25, oh God, for all of this, like, I mean, obviously each, but like for how good it's claiming to be, I'm really excited. Oh my God, it has peptides in it. I love it. I also grabbed another one of these masks from Way to Skin. I love these masks. They're actually really good and they're packed. With serum like these are really good this one is the collagen one it's an age defining uh skin firming mask i don't really know what kind of scent this is i think the last one i used was like an orangey one i don't know what kind this is but i really like these if you see these in dollar tree definitely snatch them up if you need some really good face masks i love these speaking of masks i also grabbed this one from this new brand that i've never uh, seen before or tried it's from new pour really really nice packaging this one is a soul rescue softening heel patches so basically you just put them on the bottom of your heel in case they're cracked or dry it's just like a little mask for your feet i love this this is cute i think i grabbed something else from them that i probably have to look for it's probably in one of the bags but there's different masks that they come up with but it's a k-beauty brand really excited and i will let you guys know about this and the last two things in this bag is a new Be Pure collection, of course. I got the coconut scented hand wipes. Again, I love a good hand wipe. These are infused with certain essential oils. They had a lavender and an orange one or a citrus one. I, of course, grabbed the coconut one. And then I grabbed a hand sanitizer spray. As you guys can see, I am obsessed with sanitizer and clean hands and I don't like germs. So this is really cute. And on to the next bag of goodies. Of course, I picked up more of my favorite sponges. You can never have too many sponges. I use this for my dishes, clean my bathrooms, anything that needs a good scrubbing. I love getting them. Scrub Buddies is my favorite brand as far as cleaning from a Dollar Tree. This is the other stuff I got from Ioni from their new summer collection. I got the volumizing mascara and this one's in a pretty blue color. And I finally found a new setting spray. This is their Finishing Glow setting spray for face and body. And I don't know, oh, I just noticed there is gold shimmer in there. I didn't notice that. So hopefully this is good, but I did want to try a new setting spray because I've been using the same one in my Dollar Tree video. So we need to try a new one. So this will definitely be featured. I love these sanitizer wipes, $1.25 for 40 wipes. I love these for around my house. I like to clean up the knobs, the remotes, controllers, all that stuff. So I had to get another pack because I just ran out. I want to change up my background a little bit, like I mentioned. So I got some new picture frames um or decor art pieces i guess i think i have this one in my living room already but i wanted them for my room so i got this one i got this really cute i don't know if you guys can even see it but it's like the sun and moon kind of thing and also got this one i don't know i like kind of like boho looking stuff i love greenery nature things like that as you guys can see from my background already i like that kind of stuff so i thought it'd be really cute to put somewhere i'm kind of bored back here so i just need to find something to shush it up a little bit and we are down to the last bag for our shopping haul and there's more of that brand that i'll show you guys about earlier the new four i got the neck lift firming hydrogel neck patch they have neck patches but i picked up a couple of these because i'm a little insecure about my double chin okay like i'm a little insecure about it i know it's there i see it in my videos i see it in my pictures i see it all the time so i picked up four of these to give it a go these are the Chin Up Sculpting Hydrogel V-Line Masks. They're supposed to enhance your jawline, boost hydration, and give you a nice sculpted look. So I bought a couple because in case I really like it, I know that they're going to sell out. Like this kind of a thing because they're kind of pricey if you get them somewhere else. I got $1.25 each, so I grabbed a couple just in case. And I'll let you guys know about it because I generally always wanted to try something like this because I said I'm a little insecure about it. That's why I always try to contour it, but even contouring it sometimes enhances it or just there's just no hiding my double chin so hopefully these work out fingers crossed and i'm i'm having high hopes for this new pore brand hopefully they come out with more stuff but so far i'm super excited about it i love their packaging they also had a thing like a mask for like your um for like your thighs i don't remember exactly what it's for but i remember they're for the back of your thighs they have different ones but these are the ones that i'm super excited about it is spring and summer. It's basically summertime here in Arizona, actually, because it's already over 100 degrees here. But Mark and I are going to start getting our grill out and just start grilling more often because we want to enjoy our backyard a little bit more now that our bees are gone and like the backyard is a little bit cleaner and nicer. We want to start getting our grill together. So I bought some like grill cleaning supplies. I bought some of these scrubbers just to get it nice and clean. And I also got this as well to help kind of clean it. Of course, we're going to use other things, but I thought $1.25 for extra cleaning supplies wouldn't hurt. And I also got these from when we, when we make burgers or kebabs or, you know, carne asada, whatever. He likes to have his own little stuff. So I got him some of these. 
They had a lot of new little kitchen stuff as well, so I grabbed a couple more things. I've always wanted one of these for when I'm frying like fries or anything like that. This is called a skimmer. So instead of grabbing things with tongs when you're, you know, when you're deep frying something, you have one of these. I don't, I don't have one, so I really wanted one. I also got this little masher for like beans and stuff. I didn't have one, so which is really surprising because I do make beans, but I use like the ones for like mashed potatoes. So I needed one of these. And then I got this little grater as well for like when I need to grate garlic or ginger or anything like that. I have my own little grater. Or if I want to put like a little lemon zest or something. I've been cooking a lot recently and I just want to grab little things to just, you know, give that oomph to my cooking. And these are the last three things I have in this bag. We have a garbage disposer cleaner. This is pretty cool. I use my garbage disposal very often. Mine get really gross and it gets stinky. I do try to put like um, soap down that drain and everything, have it with some, some hot water. But this one's a clean citrus scent. It's supposed to basically be like an alternative to like bleach in case you pour bleach down there. This is supposed to give, make it really squeaky clean, make it smell good because sometimes food just be sitting there and you don't know it and then your kitchen smells. So I wanted to try this and see if it works. I also grabbed another Ioni mascara. This is part of that same collection. This one's just in the black color instead of blue because again, gonna try different mascaras and see what we like. And then the last thing I got is this little toilet cleaning gel. I believe there's a brand, obviously in Target and Walmart, that sells this for way more. There is only one dispenser in here, but it comes with 14 of the flowers in here for $1.25. So if this works, that's pretty cool because I'm pretty sure, I don't remember what brand it was, but it's really expensive. So I'm like, I might as well see if it works well because this is really cheap compared to the ones at like Walmart and Target. And that was everything that I got in this week's haul. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope I did grab a little bit of interesting stuff. I feel like I got a lot of new collections that I'm super pumped about as far as my home and for myself skincare makeup wise. Like I'm super excited and I hope you guys do enjoy these videos because I believe you guys have been enjoying them. So I have been uploading them more often. So I'll be going weekly to Dollar Tree to grab the new stuff that you guys know what's good and what isn't. I'm also going to be doing a Dollar Tree favorites kind of videos. So if you guys want me to do those more often please let me know that way you guys know exactly what I am using and what I just have on the side and just don't really favor so let me know if you guys want to see that kind of a video but I think that's everything for me thank you guys so 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 much for watching every single time I do appreciate you very much and I'll see you guys on the next video bye